Hey everybody, I just wanted to say, look around, huh? Look at these incredible streets all around me, all this excitement. Of course, you know, it's like a blue screen thing and it's not for real, but it's kind of a nifty background. I just thought I'd say hello and let you know how things are going here um, with the project of going through 50 plus memories of my grandparents' house. Um, and it's been surprising, it's been emotional, and at the same time, there's been lots of laughter and tears, but more laughter, gratefully. Um, we're going to be here still for a while, we're going to have a yard sale this weekend, so maybe I'll update you on a little bit of that. Now I'd like to show you something really, really special to me. Um, it's a love seat, and it has very special meaning to me because it's been here for forever, it seems like. And it turns into a twin-size bed when needed underneath here. And it just holds a lot of memories for me. Um, and to know that I'll have it in my apartment and be able to just know that, you know, think of them every time I sit on it and recline. It means, it really does mean a lot. Now we have what used to be the piano room, except we are using it kind of as a display room for relatives only. You see, relatives will come through here and see if they want something of their own for nostalgia's sake. Um, and you know, although things are worth something, I'm sure, monetarily wise, for the most part, this family has been so close forever, it seems, that they would rather than make a couple of bucks here and there own these things for themselves, for their own memories. And I love this. Grandpa used to love hats. He'd go on road trips with Grandma, and look at that. Grandpa hats. Grandpa hats. Come with me now out to the garage area where we're going to have the yard sale coming tomorrow and the next day. And as you see, it's, of course it's not organized yet, but there's already tons of stuff that have been brought over. And it's getting ready to be, you know, sorted through and everything like that. And then priced and people hopefully will, they'll find new homes. I mean, even cool things like this, like... One of the old style clue games, you know? Maybe it's a collectible, I don't know. But at a yard sale, hopefully we'll get $2. Um, over here is a desk that I bought a long time ago. Unfortunately, it's a little broken now. But we're going to sell it. Um, look at this ancient <laughs> exercise machine. This was before Nordic Track. This was the original Nordic Track, actually. Brand name and everything. You'd sit on it up there and pull on these pulleys and try to get all buff. The weather really stinks today. I am hoping beyond hope that we have better weather for the yard sale. I'm here about to talk with my mother. And I just want to say, like, just two words to describe how she feels about how things are going so far in the first week. Mom? Things are very hectic. We're getting ready for a yard, a yard sale. It's very stressful. And it's sad to see a lot of these things go. But we can't keep it all. Now we have my Aunt Kathy, who's also partly going through everything, trying to figure out what she wants and stuff. Just a quick word, Kathy. Kathy, just be candid and tell us how this is making you feel. Well, it's sad. Sad, sad. as you know. Yeah, all the memories wrapped up in this stuff. Now, let me so, ask yeah. you the small stuff. Our viewers would love to know, even though they're small trinkets. Is it true? Um, oh, wait, we have a Twitter request. Marianne from Maryland wants to know, Kathy, if you have trouble letting go of things, do you have trouble letting go of even the little knickknacks? Or are they more sentimental big things, like a, a couch or a bed? 
both. Oh. More so, well, the, more so the knickknacks and things that were around the house and the walls and the I china agree. cabinet and stuff like that. I agree. It can be a um, tough job, some everybody. Some things are piece of cake to get rid of and some things are like, oh. And here we have the lair that's growing since the last time we were in here. We've got dishes. We've got trinkets. We've got Suzanne. We have elf suspenders. Elf suspenders. Oh, my goodness. I think that's going to be a hot item. I think so, too, for your inner elf. Mm -hmm. And look at this. Now, what is this little doodad over here? What's this? This is... George Foreman grill. An old style George Foreman grill, I'm guessing, before he came out with the ridges and the. That's cool. We've got pictures, we got games, and as you can see, we got rain. Isn't that just freaking beautiful on the time we're supposed to have? Well, not till tomorrow, right? right. Tomorrow. Maybe it'll be gone. Do you ever wish you were in the middle of sunny skies and a warm beach with waves around you? Look around me. Look at those clouds. This is a blue screen representation of the peaceful place that I have put myself in to take myself away from the depressiveness of the rain. You too can do things like that, and it's called... Oh, 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 oh. Meditation is cool. Don't forget. Oh, I don't know about you, but I feel extremely relaxed now. And so I just want to show you all that we have such like a plethora here of things that are gonna be on sale. You know, they always say one person's junk is another person's treasure. One never knows. And we could have some drama. People trying to, you know, maneuver you down to like a $50 thing for a quarter. I, I don't think we have any $50 items, but you know what I mean. Anyhow, oh, one more thing before I go. Let me show you this. This is a Nordic track. This was like so prim primitive. You know, you stand on these little slots, and they're kind of flimsy. And then you put your waist against here. And then this thing here comes up. And while you're walking, you have to pull on these pulleys and not fall off. Now, I don't know about you, but that just feels like a lawsuit waiting to happen. So, as I say sayonara, let's go to, as I snap my fingers, a much better place behind me just where would you like to go to Haiti somewhere nice do you want to go to the crazy oh how about let's go to the crazy robot factory you all love that one and okay okay we're in not a factory but it looks like something crazy because you can barely see you can almost see through me I feel like Bill Nye a science guy in a retirement home anyway look around see see oh look at the torture chamber but you know what? In a snap of the fingers, we're back. We're peaceful again. The sun's out. So anyway, leave comments. Hit the likes below. Subscribe. Let me know what you want to hear about. Um, I talk about boring crap. We all know that. But with some help from my friends, you could give me some new ideas. So sayonara. Peace out.